What's going on, YouTube world? OBJ the Don coming back at you again with a quick video. In less than 48 hours, Samsung will be announcing and or releasing the Galaxy Note 4. In about eight days, Apple will be announcing and or releasing the iPhone 6. iPhone 6 is rumored to be 5.5 inches with an A8 64-bit chip. Galaxy Note 4 is rumored to be 5.7 inches, the same size as the Galaxy Note 3, uh, with a 805 chip that is uh, rumored to, uh, well, actually known to support 4K video. Um, now, this is the first time Apple is actually providing some competition in this category, the fabric category. Uh, I will admit up to about three years ago, I had a bias towards Apple. Well, I had hatred towards Apple. Let me say it that way. Um, there were things that I didn't understand that I totally do now. And um, I have always been the type of person, okay, I may talk my little trash or whatever about a certain product or say why I won't get a certain product. But at the end of the day... You know, I'm going to try that product and uh, actually see for myself. Um, I got a iPad mini a couple of years ago and I ended up loving that iPad mini. Um, there were so many productive things that I was able to do with it. Uh, the craft, craftsman, craftsmanship of it was so damn sexy and I just absolutely fell in love with my iPad mini. I decided I wanted more screen real estate, so I upgraded to the iPad Air. And I currently still have my iPad Air, and I love it and enjoy it to death. There are some apps that you can't get on Android, and there are a lot of uh, functions and features and simplicity. One thing about Apple when they say it just works now i really understand what they mean when they say it just works simplicity the os there's no lag there's no nothing i i really do enjoy my ipad air and i also recently just got a ipad well, well actually just got a macbook air and i'm loving that thing to death i'm thinking about upgrading to the macbook pro but when it comes to phones i don't think i'm there yet as far as going all out apple wise with my phone now one of the reasons is because when it comes to phablets and when i tell you folks that um uh, once you go big with a phone <laughs> you can't go small anymore that is a very true statement um so it's all it's only fab phablet for me or bust you understand what i'm saying and Samsung, when it comes to phablets to me, nobody pretty much makes a phablet better than Samsung from the S Pen functionality. Now, even though I don't really use the S Pen very much, the times when I have, you, uh, have used the S Pen, it has came uh, very handy. It, uh, it, it, it has uh, done very important things for me at the right time when I needed it. <laughs> So uh, the S Pen functionality is a very, very key point to the uh, Galaxy Note line. Uh, also, Samsung seems to have some very vibrant and very colorful and very beautiful screens. Now, with them, with the Galaxy Note 4 rumored to have an Ultra HD screen, and I've actually got a chance to see this, uh, how these H, uh, Ultra HD screens look in person uh with the lg g3 uh someone showed me at work showed me some youtube videos some things on there i mean the screen is absolutely gorgeous but the lg g3 has the 801 chip in it and there are uh, a bit of problems with uh like some gaming and things of that nature on there but uh because you know the 801 the 805 chip is a lot more powerful now I want you to let me know which phone are you thinking about getting. Now, I don't think either one of these choices are a bad decision at all. Um, I could 
I can seriously see myself where I couldn't a few years ago. I can seriously see myself with an iPhone. Like I said, though, I love my Galaxy Note 2. And um, I'm ju I just think I'm going to stick with Samsung with this, uh, you know, Ultra HD screen that they're, they're putting on the uh, Galaxy Note 4. I think I'm going to roll with Samsung once more. But I am going to wait and uh wait until the uh, announcement of uh the app the iphone 6 on september the 9th to see exactly all the features and what they are actually bringing to the table i'm also out of the corner of my eye uh keeping my eye on the uh sony xperia z um i believe that's what it's called uh i'm checking it out i'm checking that out because like i said competition is good Competition is real good, and we can have our favorites and everything, but competition drives, drives, uh, 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 drives these companies to actually make better and better products. They can't just stand pat doing the same old lazy thing. That's one thing. Like some of these companies, they team, they tend to uh, uh, spoon feed us the technology. I'm a technology junkie. Um, I have gadgets that I don't even pretty much use that much. I have it bad. I mean, I, I got it bad. I, I, I just early adopter, technology junkie. I mean, I, I'm many things when it comes to that. I always tell my wife, you know, hey, look, uh, 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 at, 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 we boys first and then we grow into men, but we still get our toys. They just get more expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, I think that I'm going to stick with Samsung on this one and uh, I'm going to get this Galaxy Note 4 but like I said I'm keeping my options open but in the comment section I want y'all to let me know which phone do you think would be better or which phone do you plan on getting and uh, as always folks if you like my content please like comment and subscribe and until next th time I holla at y'all folks. Thank you for watching.